Wine and Civilization, the Roman Monuments of Trier. The Emperor Caesar conquered Trier and the surrounding area in the first century BC. This castle gate is known as Porta Nigra, the Black Gate. Augustus Caesar, at around 15 BC, decided to make Trier a center for ruling over the Rhine area. This gate has protected the city for over 2,000 years. This cross shows that this is a marketplace. A column with a cross on top is a distinctly Roman symbol. The Romans introduced Mediterranean culture to the area and wine was one of the things they left behind. Each ancient Roman city has its amphitheatre. This one was built around 100 AD and served as a venue for gladiatorial combat and animal fights. There were seats for 20,000 spectators. The Romans were excellent at civil engineering. This stone bridge was built around 150 AD and is still in use. There are traces of Roman culture in its decoration. Tria Cathedral in the city centre is Germany's oldest. In 313 AD, the then Roman Emperor Constantine the Great legitimized Christianity throughout the Roman Empire and later ordered the construction of a large cathedral in the town. Trier was to become a Christian spiritual center along with Rome, Jerusalem and Bethlehem. The cathedral has been rebuilt and extended many times. The Moselle River flows through the town. Moselle wine, originally introduced by the Romans, is produced on land along the river. The grapes the Romans brought have been mixed with local grapes many times. The main variety of grapes grown here is Riesling. One of the distinctive characteristics of the soil in the area is the presence of slate. The soil absorbs nutrients from weathered slate. They're believed to contribute to the quality of the white wine. The city was once known as the Second Rome. The heritage of ancient Roman civilization lives on with the townspeople to this day.